Welcome back to a new video here in Swap. In this video, I am going to be showing you a couple of the titles of the Mega Bundle titles pack or the MD titles pack, which is the version one, which comes with 30 different titles at first. But the goal is to get them to 100. So I will be working on planning and adding maybe five to 10 every week until we get to 100, hopefully and yeah so that is pretty much it let's just get started so in order to install these it's actually super easy all you have to do is if you go here in fusion you don't have to have a fusion tab open for these and then you will drag the drfx file i already have it installed so you will see that it shows up over right here in your case when you buy it it will show install after that you click install and it will automatically be added to the place where it should be added. Then you can go to your edit page and you will be able to find it right there. So if we go here to the effects library and under titles, we just write MB, we will find all the titles here. And then you will also be able to preview them right here in your screen. If you have a really powerful machine, it will be easily pre-rendered. If not, you might have to wait a little bit because that is just how DaVinci is. Now, there's a few things that I want to show you. Now, the first one is one of the most important ones that I want to show you first. Now, here for the title 30, which is unique in this launch version, I included the option to add your own logo or any image that you want. Now, when you open it and see it like these, it will just show up like that. Here, when you click browse, it will open a pop up window and then you can just find your logo or whatever image that you have and double click and then it will automatically be added into that section. Now, in this case, if your image or logo is a little bit too big, you have the size option here so that you can change it. And you also have the different options for the text customization here, like text now, for example, well, now, and you can change the color of the text and the actual shape. These two shapes are actually self-adjusting, so they will just adjust by themselves. But you have to make sure that it won't work with all the fonts because sometimes fonts might break these boxes like that. Like here, for example, this weird Japanese Japanese text, I guess it's called. That's weird. It doesn't really work quite, quite well in the case. So you might find that some fonts won't work perfectly with all the titles. Like in this case, it becomes a little bit too big, but in this case, you can actually resize this. And since the shape of the box is actually connected to the text, it will automatically change with change the size when you adjust the size right here. OK, so now that is for that text right now. And that is pretty much how you can customize and add your own logo to that title. Now we have a bunch of other ones and most of them, I think, are pretty much the same in in the sense of like the animations and the things that you can animate and change. You can change the color and the size of them. You can also change the fonts but I've designed them using specific fonts so that they look a little bit better in that way. But if you want and you find some that work better in your opinion, then you can probably change them too. That's why I added this notes section in each of them so that you know which font is used. I think I use pretty much standard fonts that are, that should be by default installed in your computer. But if they're not, you will simply, you can simply Google the name of them. And then I think most of the fonts that I use that are free for commercial use and royalty free, you can find them on 1001fonts.org or .com, one of those. But just Google the name of the font and download, and then you will be able to automatically use that font by default. Now, these, since these are self-adjusting, so they, they adjust to the resolution of the timeline, uh, there's a weird issue that happens when you try to work on vertical timelines. So like if you want to do Instagram or TikTok videos or whatever and add these there, you will get some, I guess it's interesting here if you like, it looks a little bit cool, but I think a workaround for that is go to a normal timeline, which is going to be uh, like a normal resolution timeline. Here you can just press Ctrl, Alt and Q and create a Kanban clip. Go to your next timeline, which is the vertical timeline and bring your compound clip in here. And now you would have that title without any weird shapes like that. And then you can automatically use them like that. And if you want to make any changes, you can simply open these in a different timeline right in the timeline right here and make the necessary adjustments. And then you will go back to your vertical timeline 
and that is that is how you would do it so there's 30 titles for the first version of this pack you can go to the website down below in the description to find out more and learn more about them so my recommendation is that if you want to grab these make sure you are working in davinci resolve 17 let me know down below if you have any ideas of like theme specific styles that you might want me to create for this pack like i was thinking of creating a timeline of like this week we we're gonna release x style of titles then the next one this style and that's and so on but i have to sit down again and put all of those the little styles in paper so i can actually just plan them out and see how i can figure that out that is it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this one check the link down below if you're interested in getting these pack if not that is fine too thanks for watching once again and i hope to see you in the next video here in suavi bye